we're going to create a tuple. So let's do that now. Call the tuple x, x equals, open parens. And let me move this out of the way. There we go. Equals open, single quote, and then vic, comma, next item, yumina, single quote, comma, next item, yungyun. Again. Single quote. Notice it's wrapping around. Comma. And then phone number is 60. Oh, there we go. One of our disparate items. String data and integer data. I hit enter and the system creates that. Again, X, there it is. What type of data? is in the object x. Ah, it is a tuple data. Hmm, so that means it could have lots of different types of data contained therein. Huh. All right. What is in x element 0? It's got how many elements to it? It's got Vic, 1, Umina, 2, Yunkyun, 3, 60, 4. So what's in the zeroth element? Vic, ah, so they're numbered 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's a total of four items. Huh. Okay. So what then is in, oh, let's say, item... Uh, Item 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Well, why, that should be 60. Let's find out. X, square brackets, then item 3. Close square bracket, hit enter, and there you go. So here's 0, the 1th element, the 0th element, 1th element, 2th element, and 3th element, 3rd element. That's the order in which these things are arranged or numbered. What if I wanted to get elements? I just wanted to say, see, Vic and Yumina. I would say, I would key in X, square bracket, show me everything from the zeroth element through up to, but not including, the twoth element, the second element. And then close square brackets, and I get Vic and Yumina, the zeroth and oneth elements. That's everything up to, but not including the actual twoth element, second element. Huh. Can I go in reverse? Of course I can. 60 would be considered negative 1. Yungyun would be negative 2. Umina, negative 3, and Vic, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, with negatives in front of them. Wow. Let's find out. Well, first, let me, <coughs> let me key in X, square bracket, then negative 1, square bracket, and I get 60. Wow. What if I want to get a range of values? I want to get well let's let's print it out again so it's very clear for us x x so now what do i want to get i want to get the this is one negative one negative two and negative three i want to get uh i want to get these two yumina and vic how do i go about doing this that would be the 0, 1, 2, and 3 elements. Hmm. How will I get that? Huh. Oh, that's not 0. This starts at 1 when you go right to left. This starts at what? Not 0, but 1. So that's negative 1, 
negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So I want to get negative 4 and negative 3. Everything up to but not including negative 2. So let me write that down. x, starting from element negative 4, I want to get everything up to but not including element negative 2, which would be Young again, everything up to but not including element 2. Close the square brackets, hit enter, and bingo, there we go. Vic and Yumina, the fourth and third element. The negative 4 and negative 3th element. Wow. Well, what element, going back to... 0, 1, 2, 3. As you go left to right, it starts at 0. 0, 1th element, 2th element, 3th element. What if I want to uh, find out where what element Yumina is in? It's a huge, huge uh, tuple, tuple. But I don't know where she is. So I, I, I need to do an index. So it's the x index, the, the x object, dot, I want to find out the index number of, open parens, who am I looking for? Yumina, single quote, close parentheses, hit enter. Oh, she's in the zero, oneth element, the oneth element. That's where she is right now. Huh. Wow. Okay, what if I want to do a count of all the occurrences in my tuple of Vic? How many times do I have Vic in my tuple called X? I only have her one time. Well, let's change that. Y equals open parens, and I'm going to key in Vic single quote, Vic, single quote, Vic. I don't know the single quote. And uh, just for fun, let's put in a number. So it's officially a tuple. All right, once again, what type of data is the object Y? It's a tuple. Now, I want to take tuple y. I want to count the number of occurrences of Vic in this tuple. Let's see what I get. I should get three. Oh, and I do. How many? It did a count of how many times Vic occurred in the tuple called y, the tuple object called y, and it did one, two, three. Wow. That is amazing. Well, let's see. Is there anything else I'd like to talk about? I don't think so. So, let's say goodbye. This is George Bull, and I thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.